Head southeast on US 41 North towards Shadow Lawn Drive. Whew. Morning, folks. It's 5.30. Actually, it's 4.30 on Pensacola time. 5.30 down in South Florida time where I'm at right now. Had to go down here on a quick business trip. I'm going to be down here just two days, but I do get one one full morning to head, fish. Head okay, US got it. Got it. I didn't sleep very well last night though, man. It's like before, the, the night before I, I travel or fish or something like that. It's like I never, uh, I never sleep, sleep very well. Is that, does that happen to anybody else? I'm headed to the bait shop right now. We're going to get us some live shrimp. And we're gonna go do like a, a live bait challenge down the side of the road here and uh, see if we catch some tarpon and snook and stuff like that. If they're not biting live bait, I will throw artificials, but I've never tried live shrimp down here. And so it's something I really wanna do. I'm gonna chug my coffee real quick and we're gonna go get some shrimp and go fishing. Get all them little guys in there. Thanks to Brian Landry for my little makeshift live well there this morning. Apparently I stole his cooler the last time we went offshore fishing. God, dude, I'm getting like attacked by bees out here. What the crap? All right, I gotta get my rod and reel. You know what the deal is. We're gonna take these shrimp to the bridge right here. We're gonna catch us some snook and tarpon. Good gracious. All right, let's go on down here. I got two rods with me. I'm gonna put one on a, a cork. And then I'm gonna free line one. And let's just see what happens. There's some good fish blowing up though. I can tell you that, I'm already looking at them. All right, Mr. Shrimp, check it out guys. First cast of the shrimp, there's no doubt. I'm gonna get some bites in here. There's bait going everywhere. Hopefully these guys will eat. They want shrimp. If not, we'll have to get them something else. All right, so I've got, I'm gonna set out a, uh, I'm gonna set a cork out with that shrimp right there. And then I'm gonna free line a shrimp. We're gonna use two rods. We're gonna free line a shrimp just to do it here. And I'm gonna throw it like kinda under the bridge or down the, the bridge right here. Ooh, I'm on. I think it's a gar, though, unfortunately, yeah. Stupid gar. Really? That's not what I was after. All right. I guess that's fish number one. Let's get the trash fish out of the way. And I've got snook and tarpon blowing up all around me. And I did, and I, and I caught a gar. That is special. Good thing I got my ego pliers with me here. God, man, it's crazy how many are in here. I gotta move spots. I, mean, I, ain't, I don't have a choice. I don't have a choice. <sighs> I just got a hook in my hand. Shoot. That hurt like, oh, good God. Back up. There's a huge gator coming right at me, guys. Look at that big gator, dude. Literally right right there. I just got a hook in my hand that I had to yank out. This is just turning into a awesome morning so far. I had to make a little location change, dude. There was so many gar at that last spot that I couldn't even uh, couldn't even throw a bait out without hooking a gar. He just hit it. Come on. There he is, guys. There's a good fish. There's a good fish. There's a good fish. Come here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on, baby. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Boom. All right. That makes the day a little better. Ate the live shrimp. Nice little snooker. All right. And he's gone. Get out of here, buddy. So I figured out like a new, a new, uh, way to do this here guys so you know how they're coming they want this shrimp moved if you leave it still 
They're, they're not touching it. Uh, oh, yeah. There he is. There he is. There he is. What do we got? Oh, look. It's a big cichlid that just ate that shrimp. That is funny, dude. Look at there, guys. Fish number two. That's a pretty big Mayan cichlid. Uh, I'm going to use the Ego pliers for him. I'm not, man, I, I don't know what it is about this morning. I've had a hook in my hand, I had a gar bite me, and I've had a, a snook fin me with his, like, slice my hand open with his gill plate. I'm not touching any fish the rest of the day. It's just a bad luck day for me. Let's put it back under here and see if there's another snooky. Oh, there he is, there he is, there he is, there's a good one, there's a good one. Yes, sir, baby, yes, sir. Another snook daddy with the scrimp, another snook daddy. I had a feeling this was going to work, man. Nice, dude, live shrimp underneath the bridge. All right, buddy, see you later. This is so cool. I had a feeling this was going to work. I'm always artificial lure fishing here. And so the difference is they hold on to this live bait. They just come up and kind of swirl at the artificial lures. It just makes it a little easier to catch them with shrimp, you know. Snook frayed my line up really bad. One thing about these snook that I've learned, you catch one or two, you got to retie every time. There's probably another one up under there too. And here comes the Florida rain. You cannot escape the Florida rain. There he is. There's another one, guys. What are we working with? What are we working with? Oh my gosh, guys. This is a first ever in the Everglades right here. First ever. I didn't even know these guys existed down here. Okay, I'm sure they do, but that is a hard head catfish. Oh my goodness. Okay, I've never caught one of these down here. Of course, I've never used bait down here either. Oh my gosh. Really? I was always wondering if they had hard heads down here. And now I know. Now I know, baby. All right, Mr. Snook. Where are you at, dog? Listen to them, man. They are blowing up under there. and I can't get them to bite. Oh, there he is. There he is, guys. There he is. He's, he's wrapped. He's, he's out. He's out. He's out. Come here. He was wrapped around the pylons. There he is. Yes, sir, baby. Yes, sir. Maybe that was him that blew. He, maybe he blew up on my shrimp. I think that's what happened. I really do. I think he blew up on my shrimp. And uh, I have to get the ego pliers for this one. It's down in his throat, unfortunately. Look at that, guys. Nice snook, man. Perfect. That was awesome. They're still blowing up, but he frayed the crap out of my line. I need a camera, man. That's what I need. Be a lot better. Apologize. There's another good shrimp there, man. Good shrimp. Oh, there he is. There's another fish. There's another fish. Got him, baby. Got him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on, baby. The, the bridge trolls. How about that? Crushing the fish with the shrimps this morning. Look at that. Beautiful snook. Beautiful little snook. Look at that, man. That is just too freaking cool right here on the highway. See you, buddy. I don't live in South Florida, so we don't get snook up there. So when I get a day like this, it is just, oh man, it's awesome. There's tarpon rolling all around me too, but I cannot get the tarpon to bite. You got one blowing up on the shrimp now, maybe a little snook. I think he's on it. Oh, he was, I was like, oh, dang it. I'm gonna go one more time under the bridge here just to see. We're putting on an artificial lure just because, man, there's so many tarpon rolling. I want to get on a tarpon, and the tarpon are not eating the shrimp. Oop, there he is. 
There he is. There he is. Come here, baby. Come here. Oh my goodness. Yes, sir. <laughs> It is a snook party this morning, folks. Everybody's invited. Oh, we came off right there. I gotta make another cast. I can't not make another cast. Like what? Yeah, even the gator, there's a huge gator coming at me. He's invited too. He wants to come to the snook party. All right, let's see if we can do it again. Ooh, yep, there he is. Another person. N another one, baby. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on. Come on. Get out from that bridge. Oh, that may be a tarpon. Is it? No, it's a snug. It's just a bigger snug. Nice. Look at there, dude. That is so sick, man. Yes, sir. Oh, hook pulled too. <laughs> so that trip was like a sprint. I'm already back in Pensacola. I was literally gone for like one day, but luckily I did get to fish. So super happy about that. Did you guys enjoy that? That was awesome. I mean, that was a great bite. And I probably caught like seven or eight more fish that I didn't put on camera. You know, I was just enjoying it out there, having a good time. But guys, as always, really appreciate you watching that video. If you ever have any questions, fishing related or anything like that, looking to buy or sell a house in the state of Florida anywhere, feel free to contact me. All my information is in my description. Uh, shoot me a message and I'll be, uh, I'll, I'll do my very best to get back to you. I do get tons of messages. But thanks again for watching this video. Shoot me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. You guys have a great week.